What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the best Madden 19 channel on YouTube.com. If you want a free Madden 20 ebook as soon as it is released, follow the link in the description, get the top 50 to 100 weekend league package, or become a Patreon member. If you need help on defense, stopping all the glitchy crossing routes if you need help on offense money plays to beat cover two cover three and man coverage i got you you are at the right place let's go what's up gamers thank you for taking the time to check out my video today we're gonna go over a series of things that i did notice in madden 20 that was not in the past few versions the first thing we're gonna go over is penalties i seen about one or two defensive pass interference but I did see two or three different offensive pass interferences and that was crazy I don't know if my opponent clicked on trying to swerve me out of the way but I did get lucky get bailed out and got offensive pass interference called on my opponent two or three different times also they have a legal man down the field and that is usually on the RPO play so you have a small window I don't know if that was just because of the beta because it was usually like three or four yards down the field and it was usually a tight end or a slot receiver you know sometimes they have just a regular screen sometimes they have post a hitch and a screen combo it's a lot of different RPO plays but I did see that penalty being called also I did see referees but they were in cutscenes. they wasn't on the field when you first start to play or while the play is going but it was like a five to six second cutscene where when a penalty was called they would go through the motions um do the hand movements call the penalty and everything and then they would be back off the field so they do have enough time to put the referees on the field throughout the gameplay but i only seen them in the cutscenes also coach adjustments they don't have the aggressive pass rush they don't have the aggressive blocking and all that type of stuff so now when you want a base align when you want a man align you do all that from the coach adjustments so as soon as you get the game and you on defense coach adjustments is important you are right at the line of scrimmage you don't have the five second walk up just like i told y'all in the last video so if you go to coach adjustments, you want to base a line every single time, it's going to make your cover two, it's going to make your cover three, it's going to make your cover four look exactly the same. Only thing you will have to do is go over and manually move people back because you know the cover four, the safeties are a little closer, cover two, people are a little more spread out. It's just different things that you will have to do to make it hard for your opponent. Now talking about making it hard for your opponent. I didn't see previous play after that last patch the last day of the beta it'd be like two or three plays out of a drive where the coach adjustment would not appear at all and I think that's a great thing that helps with the skill gap I don't know what kind of mode y'all play let me know in the comment section do y'all play regs do y'all play franchise do y'all play mutt but on competitive coach adjustments should be just like it is and previous play should not be on the game you should have to know what you are doing post play reads that's what makes the difference from a good player a casual player and an elite player i like that i hope they implement that in the final product if there's anything else that you want to know about madden 20 let me know in the comment section right now sound off drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel help the channel grow retweet share the video all that type of good stuff and i got a lot of good tips coming for y'all for madden 20 stay tuned